Hello friends, my name is Atul Palandurkar. I am corporate trainer for Java and technologies. Our topic for today is why Java is platform independent. While covering this topic, we will also understand the execution flow of Java program. So let's start now. Hello friends, this diagram shows the execution flow of simple Java program. By understanding the execution flow of Java program, we will came to know why Java is platform independent. First of all, we will write a Java program. You can write a Java program using any text editor. You can use Notepad, WordPad, VI editor in Linux. You can use any text editor in the world or you can use any of the IDs available in the market such as NetBeans, Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, jCreator, etc. What you have to do, you just need to save your program with .java extension. To run any Java program, we require two steps. Step one is compilation and step two is interpretation. For compilation, Java compiler, we require which is commonly known as Java C and is used to compile a .java file. During the compilation process, Java compiler will compile each and every statement of Java file and if no errors, it will produce a .class file but if there are errors, it will not produce class file and will throw an error message on the output screen. A generated class file is a binary coded file which is completely dependent of components provided by Java interpreter and does not depend on the tools and components available in operating system. Therefore, we can run Java program in any of the operating system. Only Java interpreter should be installed. Therefore, we can use Java interpreter which will interpret each and every statement from class file and will produce the output on any of the operating system. Hence, we can say Java is platform independent. Thank you.